In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to write really, really big numbers. In space, we're going to be dealing with light years, parsecs, astronomical units, numbers that are in the billions or trillions and even greater. So we're going to need to learn how to write those in a way that's simple and easy to understand. First, let's start by reviewing some numbers that you're pretty familiar with already. Millions, billions, and trillions. A million is one with six zeros behind it. A billion is one with nine zeros behind it. And a trillion has 12 zeros behind it. Whenever we write these, you would say that a million is one times 10 to the sixth. 10 to the sixth would be six places or six zeros. If you've ever heard the term astronomical being used, it refers to these huge numbers that we're going to be dealing with. Numbers that are beyond trillions, that are millions of trillions, 10 to the 25 zeros. These are the numbers that we use in studying space and astronomy, so that's why it's called astronomical. They're enormously or inconceivably great or large numbers. So here's some simple examples of some numbers that aren't quite so astronomical, and I'm going to show you how you write these down, these big numbers. 48,000. You would write that down. The easy way would be to write it as 48 times 10 to the 3. Now this 10 to the 3 simply means 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. And 48 times 10 to the, th the 3, which is 1,000, is simply 48 with three zeros behind it, or 48,000. So this number that you see here, this 3, tells you how many zeros. So it's actually telling you how many zeros it is that you're dealing with here. So the easy way to write 48,000, the easy way was 48 times 10 to the third. Very intuitive, very simple. The correct way to write it, scientifically speaking, and this is why we call it scientific notation, the correct way is 4.8 times 10 to the four. That's the official notation. You always just do one number ahead of the decimal, so 4.8. In the case of uh, this one, it'd be 5.6. This would be 6.8. It doesn't matter which way you do it. If you do it the simple way, or if you do it the proper scientific method way, it doesn't matter. You're going to have the same answer. This one is 48,000. And this one is also 48,000. The only confusing part here is instead of just adding four zeros, you have to think of this as four places, four decimal places. One, two, three, four. So this becomes 48,000. Both of them are 48,000. Let's try these other two real quick. five hundred and sixty million that is going to be written as the easy way would be fifty six and then just count those zeros times seven zeros ten to the seventh the scientific method or the scientific uh, notation correct would be five point six so instead of 10 to the 7, we have 7 zeros, but the decimal's over one more place. So instead of 10 to the 7, it's 10 to the 8. Now, this last one would be 680,000, and you'd write that as 68 times 10 to the 4. Or if you want to use the correct scientific notation here, 
correct scientific number, it would be 6.8. So instead of just four zeros, again, you go one more decimal over, and we'd have 6.8 times 10 to the fifth. But these numbers are the same. Either way you write them, they're the same. So let's go ahead and write the distance to our nearest neighboring star, Alpha Centauri, which is 25 trillion miles away. Let's write it in the simple, easy form and in standard scientific notation. First, go ahead and just count those zeros after the 25. And you're going to count, count them in threes if you wish. Makes it a little easier. Three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve zeros. So, the easy way to write this would be 25 times 10 to the 12th. So 25 times 10 to the 12 is the easy way. Now the way to write it in scientific notation, standard scientific notation, would be 2.5, only one non-zero number, so the 2, 0.5, and now you want to count how many decimal places, not quite so many zeros, but how many actual places. And same thing, you've got the 12 zeros, and then you just have one more place that's a non-zero number. So you've got 13 decimal places that you've moved, so that's 10 to the 13th. And that is standard scientific form. So either way, when you do the math, it really doesn't matter which one you use. If the answer asks you for standard scientific notation, then you want to use this one. Now, to a moon that's 10 times further away than Alpha Centauri, and let's do the same thing, simple answer and standard scientific form. So for the simple answer, you're going to want to count your zeros, 3, 6, 9, 12, and one more, 13. So that would just be 25 with 13 zeros behind it, which would be 10 to the 13. If you're going to write this in scientific notation, standard scientific notation, it would be the one non-zero whole number, 2.5 times 10, and you have 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, and then that one more decimal place to get to that decimal at 2.5, so that'd be 14. So 10 to the 14th. That's how you'd write it in standard scientific notation. I hope this has increased your science knowledge. May your wisdom guide you. Sayu.